one's we rough. have Buffalo and New York Jets. A Rod has been confirmed with a Achilles tear, so he's out for Genuinely the year. So I don't really know what you do from here. Um, I you can't really run it back with Zach Wilson. Me and Dobbs are talking about this. Like you have to go get a veteran quarterback. Um, Josh Allen kept putting the ball in harm's way. He had four turnovers. Um, I have so much. The Bills' defense there. still looked elite. Stephon Diggs, he's still been one of the best receivers. The run game is still meh. Like it's just eh. the Jets offense looked electric minus the O line. So much talent in the skill positions. Brees Hall looks like he's back healthy, fine. So that backfield's great. The Jets D is re- legit, but they're they're fucked without a rod. Like there's no, there's really no like, there's no positive here, man. Like that's like. Nah, bro, this situation is genuinely just depressing. I'll say, I'm glad the Jets won the game because I don't want to say it might be one of the highlights of the year because I do genuinely believe they're so well built of a team that they still could go win like 9-10. Maybe pushing 11 is tough. 9-10 games, right? Like, And somehow, we won't, the ASU's tough. Maybe, just maybe. Still sneak into the playoffs. But it's a point where, yeah, it's like, well, let's look at this in reality. Um, no matter who they go sign at this point, even we said, okay, so the best case scenario, I think that everybody's coming to terms with uh, just from a contractual and any type of way, logical, possible standpoint. Yeah. Probably Jameis, right? Like established starter in the previous times. He's thrown for 5,000 yards. He, he, he is super reckless at times, but he's definitely toned it down. You have enough good weapons that it would make sense. But then it's like, that's my thing that I went back to is it's like, again, with the thing with Zach Wilson is, well, what's worth it even better at this point? It's like, do you believe enough that if you bring in one of these veterans, you can really go all the way? It's like, I don't... Again, I love Jameis. I'll ride for Jameis forever. But it's like, do I see Jameis taking them and then leading them where he's the one lifting Lombardi and like, yeah, I'm the reason that... Like, that's where it gets really tough. Is yeah, he maybe didn't have to be the reason because the Jets even is so good. But you get what I'm saying. It's just a... It's a really... It's a pipe dreamy scenario versus the alternative where it's like, look, we're probably not going to win the bowl regardless. But... If in which fucking one zero point one 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 percent chance that we did, I'd prefer it and or the run at least at it to be with Zach because then he had some confidence. We actually have a chance to build that confidence. And if he's the future guy, I'm not just pissing another way you have this contract away. And then like, but I get I know the point was to sit him the whole year regardless. Yeah. So it's like my guess is my thing is like I think he gains more from sitting than playing at this point, and playing him kind of like is. Well, you say, this is my thing. I'm going to give him some credit. Because if Rodgers comes back next year. But it's my thing. Is I want to give him some credit for a second. And I know like that's, I know it's not It's not going to just like, because he gets one week of practice, yeah. it's going to look a lot better. Like, I, I know. I know this. this is, I'm, nobody's going to tell me something I don't know about as far as concerned. Like, yeah, I know he's not going to make a huge jump. Like, my thing is, though, for the perspective of that he didn't get any starting reps really in this offseason. And, right, he's had none of this communication and time with to develop anything with the starters. Yeah. And he did not expect to play. I think given the circumstances, I think he played really well yesterday. Like, I don't think anybody's, I don't think he's getting enough credit. Like, normally in any circumstance, when you watch a backup come in and do a game in which the starter was, especially he's hyped up as Aaron Rodgers on the and debut. And especially against a team like the Bills. That's what I'm saying. Like, a good pedigree defense. You, dude, they don't even throw the ball. Like, they trust him enough to let him throw it on big downs, and he yeah. made big throws. Like, it especially, I'm giving him credit in situations where everybody, including me, was like, no fucking way they're going to convert this. Like, just no way. Like, third and seven, third and 11. Like, this is dead. Like, there's yeah. no way. And he stepped up, threw pressure, and delivered. And I'm like, you know what? I believe in that shit enough yeah. to, that I'm like, I'd rather at least try to build on that. And I get what you're saying, though. Does it probably help him to sit? Maybe it does. But it's like, in the weird reality. They're not getting where, anywhere with anybody else. What, I that, know. It's like, it's like they, I almost look at, like, best case scenario is just to get him fucking gunsling. And then you either learn really for sure. Do I have something like now? I really have no choice. The hype was around us. It's like there's just no way to win. They're really honestly the only way you win is if you if somehow is really though is if you trade for James and he plays like an all pro, which yeah. is very very likely not going to happen because I love James, but again he's James and you don't really change someone's DNA. Yeah, I'm. It's just like there's I don't see like any team that trades anybody. Tannehill, you don't want Tannehill. That, like, it's like that's, a, that's probably best case scenario. As as after as it is to say that probably is. I'd say that's that actually 
or everyone's been saying Dorian Thompson Robinson, but let's be realistic for a sec. I love DRT or DTR. I don't think he's ready. Dude, it's so much different when they're out there with the starters. And, and the play style York. that they run is yeah. not, it's not, it's not the offense. Like you, everyone just thinks that uh, Hackett, just apparently, I guess, is going to develop a read offense overnight and yeah, have a new yeah. terminology for it. Like, it, it, that's not how things work. Like, it, it, you know, it's like, I wish it was that way. Yeah. But Hackett would be like, what do you want me to do with this guy? I don't run this off. I don't run his style. Like, I don't run read options where I can make, not that he could make him good. Of course he could, but he couldn't maximize him. Versus no. like, I need a guy that can just drill deep throws, right? Like, that's that is Hackett's ideal quarterback. Like, pocket, tall, deliver deep throws. And it's like, yeah. you bring DTR, it's like you're almost disbenefiting him yeah. and yourself. Yeah. 